Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. We are doing a two day clean with me uh, for spring cleaning. Today is Thursday, I'm actually off today and I have to be done by one o'clock to go over to my cousin's house. So I'm trying to clean as much as possible. We're gonna get to the washer, the dryer. Um, we're going to uh, deep clean the sink, deep clean the radiators, vacuum and sanitize. The mattresses, I'm also going to be turning them. Um, we're going to be doing the blinds and the fans and I'm gonna be sweeping under all of the furniture because it is a hot mess under everything. So that is on my list for today. And then for over the weekend, I'll show you the rest of the list, but I have a huge list here that I really wanna get through. Um, and let's just get started with the washer. I do have some tablets, but I really need to lay deep clean with some like power wash and just like get some grime off the top of it. Um, so let's just get down there and start cleaning. Alright, so I'm starting down the basement. I'm getting to my washer and dryer first. Uh, I don't do this on the regular. I feel like you should do this once a month to really like deep clean your washer and dryer, but I don't. So if you're anything like me, get downstairs or upstairs or wherever your washer and dryer is and deep clean that sucker because if that's dirty, your laundry is going to be dirty. <laughs> I'm using these packs from a fresh. Uh, they, you're supposed to use them once a month, like I said. I'm popping that in and letting it run while I'm cleaning off my shelf. Uh, this gets really dirty easily, to be honest, because Ollie likes to help me and it just gets everywhere. So I'm just wiping it down real quick.
on to my dryer if you don't do this uh your lint trapper really needs to be like washed regularly um or it just will not trap the lint like it's supposed to so i'm gonna like just take off as much lint as i can with my fingers and then i'm gonna use power wash and like really deep clean that thing making sure to get any debris off of the dryer and really cleaning it off so it's nice and shiny it does get really dusty to be honest i'm now moving upstairs and i'm working on the sink i do this more frequently uh but i don't do the tile as often as i should so i'm gonna go upstairs clean out everything make sure i'm sanitizing everything with like vinegar and just getting it nice and tidy Okay, so next on my list are radiators. I have radiators all over my house and they get pretty dusty and things get trapped underneath of them. So I'm just gonna use my Swiffer uh, duster real quick and just get in between every single crack and just get as much dust off as I can along with underneath and just wiping it off. So it's day two. Um, I have a lot to do today. I'm going to clean, deep clean the oven. I'm going to go through my mattresses, cleaning the walls, um, 
anything that I don't normally do on the daily basis. That's what I'm going to get to today. Um, and I have some helpers here. Um, Anthony and Ali are home today. So I'm just going to try and get through as much as I can. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, I'm kind of tired. I'm a tired mama. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just going to try and do as much as I can. And there might be a second clean with me, um, depending on how much I can get through today. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get started on cleaning and let's just get through this. I'm so done with, done with. I'm so done with, done with. I'm getting started in the kitchen. I really need to deep clean this oven. It's been a few months and you can tell that it's like disgusting. So here I am needing a deep clean. I'm just using some, um, I think it's Barkeeper's Friend to really deep clean this sucker uh, while everything else soaks in the sink. Just an FYI, if, in case you didn't know this, you can let this barkeeper's friend sit on there um, and not scrub it the way I did. I didn't realize that you could just let it sit for a few minutes and it will just wipe off. So friendly reminder to not do what I did. I'm also cleaning the top of this. It just really needs a good wipe down, uh, making sure I get into like every crack and crevice. Uh, I really wish that I didn't have this stove. I wish I had a glass top because it would be easier to clean, but here we are, nice clean oven. And now I'm moving on to my furniture. I feel like I haven't wiped down my furniture since maybe last spring. I'm just giving everything a nice wipe down, especially my chairs because they get really dusty and grimy with the kids eating on them. So I'm just gonna wipe down all the legs and I'm going to vacuum the, the seat along with sanitize it. I'm moving on to my bedroom. I have all these little pills that are like coming out of the bed. So I have cats and they're like all over the place. So I'm just gonna use this little machine that I got from 
Amazon and it helps with the peeling. So I'm just gonna, you know, rub it all over and try and get it off. This is your chance to vacuum and clean under your bed. This hasn't been done since I made this bed frame. And now with the cats, they are like trapping everything under the bed. So this is, this is your time to shine, guys. Take your bed apart and clean underneath. I'm just moving all the debris. I'm going to vacuum. I'm even going to vacuum in the little crevices and make sure it's nice and clean. No more dust. And then I'm just gonna put the bed back together. While I'm putting this back together, I'm having Anthony help me rotate the bed. You should rotate your bed twice a year at least, if not more, so it doesn't sag in certain spots. Um, so here, Anthony and Ollie are helping me move the bed. I also want to mention that I use baking powder to sanitize my bed and then vacuum it off uh, so it's nice and fresh. I just didn't show it in this video because I did it in my fall cleaning. So here's my bed all put back together. And then I'm moving on to my walls and this is pretty much it. At this point, I'm just fed up. I'm tired. I don't want to do anything anymore. So I use this wall cleaning tool that I got from Amazon. It's linked down below if you want to use it. It's in my Amazon storefront. All I do is spray on the wall with the cleaner that it comes with and just use this tool to wipe it off. And it's like magic. It really cleans my walls fantastically and it's not that much effort, but here we are, nice clean walls. Okay, so I'm officially done cleaning after a little mishap with the oven. I am officially done. I feel good about what's going on here. Um, I'm kind of tired, as you can tell, um, from deep cleaning. And I'm just ready to just relax. There will definitely be a part two, so make sure you subscribe so you can check out the next spring cleaning video. And I'll definitely be decorating and stuff like that in that video. Uh, this is more of a deep clean that I don't usually get to. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!